Okay, so welcome back to my set series. Today, we will be learning about operations with fractions. So, simple lang naman yung mga operations with fractions. No? So, first, you can add or subtract uh, fractions with uh, the same denominator. So, for example, uh, 31 over 17. So, we have an improper fraction here. Minus 19 over 17. Let's say plus minus 16 over 17. Okay? So, makikita natin na yung denominators natin dito, lahat 17. Tama? 17, 17, and 17. So, we just add yung numerators. No? So, we have a big fraction. 17 yung denominator. Then, 31 minus 19 plus, technically plus, negative 16. Okay? So, just evaluate yung nandun sa numerator and you will get negative 4 over 17. Okay? So, next is, paano naman kung ano? adding or subtracting fractions with different denominators. Okay? So, ito naman, dito natin gagamitin yung idea natin, no? So, let's put here, yung idea natin of LCM. Okay? So, for example, 7 over 12 minus 3 over 8. So, we have here a denominator na 12, then denominator na 8. So, ngayon, nahanapin natin yung LCM ng 12 and 8. So, I hope by now, alam nyo na kung paano kunin yung LCM ng 12 and 8. And let's skip that, no? So, ang LCM ng 12 and 8 is 24. Okay? So, now, 24, divide natin yung new na denominator by the old denominator, then multiply natin doon sa numerator. So, 24 divided by 12, so that is 2. Then, multiply natin sa numerator. 2 times 17, so that is 14. And then, we retain the sign, so subtraction dito, so subtraction pa rin yan. Then, 24 divided by 8, that is 3. And then, we multiply it by 3, so we get 9. So, now we have 14 minus 9 which is equal to 5 over 24. So, ganun lang. Okay? Next naman is, how do we add or subtract? Okay? How do we add or subtract mixed numbers? So, ang technique dito is either one, you convert yung mixed number, so I'll just call them NN, to improper. And then, do method 2. Yung katulad ng kanina, kung paano natin in yung dissimilar denominators or different denominators. Or you can add yung numbers separately. Okay, so add the numbers separately. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So, kunyari, I have the fraction 6 and 3 fourths plus negative 2 and 1 fifth minus 2 and 1 fifth minus 4 and 1 third. So, pwede natin ihiwalay lahat ng mga whole number, no? So, 6 minus 2 minus 4. Okay? And then, we add yung mga fractions na igugroup natin, no? So, 3 fourths minus 1 fifth minus 1 third. Okay? So, as you can see, 6 minus 2 minus 4, lahat yan whole number na, and that is equal to 0. No? So, 0 plus... 3 fourths minus 1 fifth minus 1 third. Okay? 
So, gagawin natin ulit yung technique natin kanina on how to add three different denominator fractions. So, ang LCM, ano ang LCM ng 3, 4, and 5? So, that is 60. Okay, that is 60. Then, 60 divided by 4 times 3. That will be 45. 60 divided by 5 times 1, that is 12. Then, 60 divided by 3 times 1, that will be 20. So, now we can evaluate this which will be 45 minus 12 minus 20, that is 13 over 60. Okay? So, yung isang method naman, we can also convert them, no? As I said earlier, we can also convert them. So, let's convert 6 and 3 fourths, 2 and 1 fifth, and 4 and 1 third into improper fractions. So, I hope by now, alam nyo na kung paano gawin to. Pero let's just run down. No? We multiply yung denominator by the number, then add yung numerator. So, 6 times 4 plus 3. Then we retain the denominator. No? So, 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3, that is 27 over 4. And we repeat that for 2 and 1 fifth and 4 and 1 third. No? So, 2 times 5 plus 1, that will be 11 over 5. Then 4 times 3 plus 1, that will be 13 over 3. And then we do again yung method natin on how we add fractions with different denominators. So again, yung LCM ng 3, 4, and 5 will be 60. Then 60 divided by 4 times 27, so medyo malaki, that will be 405. Minus 60 divided by 5 times 11. That will be 132 minus 60 divided by 3 times 13. That will be 260. This will be equal also to 13 over 60. So as you can see, we had the same answer. Okay? The next thing that we need to learn is to multiply. No? So we need to multiply fractions. So... Ang step natin dito is 1, we need to uh, cancel uh, common uh, numerators and denominators. Okay? Second, we need to just multiply the numerator okay, by the numerator. And then the denominator by the denominator. Ganun lang, kasimple. No? So, let's have a example here. So, kunyari, 3 fourths times 8 over 15. So, let's check first. No? Step 1, we need to cancel common numerators. No? So, we can rewrite. No? Mas madaling makita if we rewrite yung fraction into its prime factorization. So, kunyari, 3 over 4, yung 4 ay 2 times 2, no? So, 2 times 2, times 8 ay 2 times 2 times 2, yung 15 ay 5 times 3, no? So, we need to cancel common numerators and denominators. So, 3 ay common sa numerator and denominator, so we cancel that. Yung 2, dito, common din yan. Then, may isa pa tayong pair of 2, so 1, 2. So, we cancel those, no? So, ang natira na lang ay... 2 and yung 5. No? So, alam natin na equal to sa 2 eh, over 5. Okay? Kung wala namang pwede cancel, kunyari, 4 fifths times 2 thirds, walang common factor sa numerator and denominator. Tama? So, we just directly multiply the numerators and the denominator. So, 4 times 2 is 8. Then, 5 times 3 is 15. So, ganun lang kadali. Okay? So, next is kabalik na naman na multiplication, no? which is division. So, we divide fractions by multiplying them. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So, to divide fractions, you need to uh, invert, okay, the divisor, no? So, invert the divisor, then multiply the fractions. 
Okay? So, what do I mean by that? Let's, uh, ex- I think mas madali kung gagawa tayo ng isang example. Tama? So, two-thirds divided by five over six. So, yung divisor natin dito, yung pangalawang term. No? So, yung five over six yung divisor. So, ito yung dividend. Ito yung divisor. Okay? So, we convert this now. No? We invert the 5 over 6. So, 2 thirds, then 6 over 5. And then, sabi, i-multiply na lang daw. Okay? So, now, we repeat yung multiplication natin kanina. We can cancel yung 3 dito sa 6. Tama? We are left with 2. And then, mawawala yung 3 sa denominator. So, you are now left with 2 times 2 sa numerator which is 4, and denominator 5. Okay, so 2 thirds divided by 5 sixths is 4 fifths. Next is, paano naman tayo mag multiply, okay? Multiply or divide uh, mixed numbers. Okay, so ito, Ang technique lang dito is convert mo. No? Okay? Convert mo yung mixed number into improper fraction. And then you can just repeat yung mga methods na ginagawa natin before. So, for example, 3 and 3 fourths divided by 1 and 1 fifth. So, convert mo yung 3 and 3 fourths into improper fractions. So, that is 3 times 4 plus 3. So that is 15 over 4 divided by 5 times 1 plus 1, that is 6 over 5. And then we invert the divisor, so 15 over 4 times 5 over 6. So now we have the chance to cancel, okay? So now we can cancel yung 6, okay? Yung 2, yung 3 sa 6. And then yung 3 sa 15, no? so we are left with 5 dito sa taas. And then 6 dito 2 sa baba. Okay? So 5 times 5 is 25. And then 4 times 2 is 8. No? So yun ang 3 and 3 fourths divided by 1 and 1 fifths. Next is paano ko i-multiply natin sila. So 3 and 3 fourths times 1 and 1 fifth. So again, we just convert them into improper fraction. So 15 over 4 times 6 over 5. Then now we can cancel yung 5 dito sa baba with the 5 sa 15 and we are left with 3 dun sa 15. And then we cancel yung 2 sa 6. So we get 3. Then we, le we are left with 2. So 3 times 3 is 9 over 2. Okay? So yun lang. So today we have learned how to add and subtract fractions, also multiply and divide fractions. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I hope to see you again next time.